Hello and welcome, my amazing, fabulous, creative, fun-loving Libras. Hi, I'm back with a reading for you for June. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I want to say thank you again, my darlings. Sorry about your last reading. I was sick. And I had just done a Virgo reading. And I kept saying Virgo in your reading. <laughs> I apologize, my beautifuls. Okay, announcement quick. On June 6th, my Patreon members, if you're a Patreon member, hi, hello, welcome, love you. I'm about to put a reading up for you guys, Animal and Archangel Oracle reading, just for my Patreon members. And so, <clears throat> this is what I'm giving away to uh, as a gift. It's a Selenite Tower, and that's, that's going to be to one of my members. I have one that I use. I have Selenite everywhere. Why? Look at this cute, this ugly little stand. But you put them on the LED stand and they start showing color. So I just thought I'd show you that ugly little stand. If anybody makes those stands, the LED stands for things like that, let me know, please, so I can get some from you. Let me sanctify this space, okay? This is my sacred anointing oil. That's also available on my website. And it resets the, the vibration. Resets you, protects you as well. It's very holy. Here we go. Going to do a reading for you. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, cross watchers are welcome. This is for June 2021. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do not know how this will play out for you, okay? But I am a, a very much a psychic clairaudient, clair, clairsentient, Reiki master. I have a lot of skills, but I'm going to bring them to you from my perspective, okay? Thank you for your love for being here with me. Let me give them a quick shuffle for you. We're going to take a look at what comes up for you. You know I love you. Here goes. I'm going to open with a sound bell to healing for you. So before I go on, thank you. Thank you for being here. Calling in the guides, the healing energies, the relief, the messages that are meant for you, for my Libras. Calling in whole new shift vibrations thank you spirit come in guides help me to read for my beautiful labors clearing the air clearing away old energies holding out hope for something better lining up for it being ready for it grounded so much. If you don't know, I wanted to tell you I'm a sound journeyman. I'm trained with gongs and bowls and meditations. Although the atmosphere in our world has made it even more relevant to learn about how to meditate and how to heal yourself from the inside out because of all the crazy energy. Libras, you're on a roll and I want to see where you're going. Okay, let me get my coffee. I grabbed, your, I grabbed your reading this morning. Um, first thing, lighting up my candles so that the candle lighting when you are doing readings is a, a spiritual assistant in that it takes negative energies out of your scene. Okay, let's get started. First thing we're going to do, beautifuls, we're going to shuffle your messages of love right away. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You know, cross watchers are always welcome on my channel. Okay, Libra, someone rising Venus. What's their, what are their love energies? Please, Spirit, show me for my Libras. What are the love energies for my Libras? These crazy cards. There you go. There's your messages, beautifuls. Here we go. Libra, <clears throat> your messages are, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is a gateway to the soul. So this is about your heart, okay? 
and you need to trust because you're going through a transformation. Now, this may not apply to all of you Libras. This may be a specific message for someone, or there may be, excuse me, some relevant details in this reading that apply to you. Take what you need, leave the rest. Transformation occurs through acceptance. It is what it is. I can't change it. It is what it is. I can't change it. It is what it is. I can't change it. God grant me the serenity to accept what I cannot change. It is what it is. I cannot change it. The courage to change what you can about it and the wisdom to know the difference. That wisdom is important. Once you accept the current situation, it automatically changes and transforms. Let's take a look at your situation. All right, Libras, where you at in love? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, my beautiful. Where you at in love? Let's take a look at the background energies. Wow. Show me the background energies of my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus people. Give me another one. Please, Spirit, show me the background energies. There you go. They just fly. Awesome. Awesome. We're still on a roll. Okay, Libras. This is for those of you who are going through a, an ending. Um, one level of it or not, whether it be the beginning of an ending, um, long-term ending, something you've dealt with for a long time. This is transformation and change, and it's karma. And many of you are in this place where karma, karma brings about a complete transformation. You, your situation, your relationships, the way you view love, everything around you. And you need to be like the fairies. Like, I see this is happening. I'm going to take the essence, and I'm going to use that as fuel for a better relationship, a better me, whatever that is past, present, or future. And this is going to be your energies here, Tarot, and the person you're dealing with. Here you go. Good luck is coming. Your new change, your shift, your fortune. Libra, your fortune is coming. Hello. It's coming. It's like I have to bring you a promises from God because I think you need one. I think you've been through a lot. You've been staring at the stars in the cosmos, dealing with the moon, dealing with moods, dealing with other people's shit, and you're tired. You just want what you want, and you want it. Now, you've been dreaming about the past. You're thinking about it, and you're wanting to be lucky, and you have luck coming. Fortune. You have good news coming. Messages are coming for you, Libras. And this is um, from the divine as well. Um, you've got information coming. You've got something coming. Someone wants to talk to you. Okay, they want to talk to you about something. Yeah. Let's do the love energies with this. Hmm. Romance Angels for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for June 2021. June is a good year for some of you. You're trusting that this change, the current situation changes once you accept it. And if you could do anything, you're in a dream state. Uh, you have to use it for, do it from your mind, your heart, not your mind. Okay, here goes. Libras, my beautiful Libras, sun, moon, rising, Venus. First card out, wedding. Getting lucky, wedding. Someone's wedding, yours or someone else's. Healing, family issues comes up for some of you. And. That might be be accounting. Something has happened and you're healing it so that you can um, be with your family. Um, something's going on and you're going to get news. I'm not sure what it is. Um, it has to do with children, perhaps, in a wedding. All right. There is chemistry for some of you, strong magnetic chemistry. So I think some of you may be ending... Some of you may be getting married, actually, to somebody who has children. Yeah. Let's take a look at the energies behind this, surrounding you. Hmm. So we have we have a lot of influence here of a, rela a solid relationship, either beginning or ending. And I don't know what it is. It has something to do with children, loss of children, family, healing. There's some healing going on for you. Well, I do like it. 
what are influencing my Libras at this time, Holy Spirit? What is it? Show us the energies influencing my Libras in this reading in June. What's going on in June? Some of you are getting married. Some of you are getting divorced. Some of you are working out details with the family about your children. You're finding someone that you're getting lucky with and you may get married. You're probably getting an invitation. Somebody may be getting proposed or an invitation to a wedding. Yeah? You'll have to tell me in the comments how that relates to you. Give me another, please, Spirit. There it is. Action. A woman holding a heart and the sun. Wow. Do you know what this is? Action. You have to do something. You need to get, an, get busy on something. Sending out invitations. Communicating with your family. Going to a wedding. Summertime wedding. 44 is angels and love, protection, divine protection, um, guidance from the other side. There's someone here waiting to give you their pure love. Someone needs to take action on this. Someone's waiting. A brand new love, too. Ace of Cups. Brand new love. And the sun and the Ace of Cups. Brand new love. Healing. Y'all are in due. You are due for healing. I think you're due for healing. This could be you or someone else, but I think that people love you from the other side as well. This is where you're going to be moving forward, and someone is taking action here. With this woman holding a heart, how interesting is that? All right, let's look at you, my darlings. Come on, let's go. Libra. How's Libra feeling in the month of June about love and romance and relationships? We want you to have a relationship that's suited to you, that helps you to meet your goals, to live the way you want to live, to love the way you want to love, to be free and creative. Right, Libras? Let's see what love, what's your feel. How do you, how's Libra showing up? You're showing up in a space where you're kind of protecting your energy. Yourself, this is Libra. Um, <clears throat> this is the energy of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And you're taking a stance of protecting your heart right now. All right? So you're protecting your heart. This is your energy, primary. And on the bottom is six of cups, six of swords. And you, Libra, are being careful to protect yourself and your peace of mind. You're moving away from this drama, trauma. You're, you're being very self-protective about love at this time, and you're on the move. Tell me more. How does Libra feel about love? You feel like you really can't wait to discuss this with someone and get something over with. This, is, this must be this ending here. Either you're going towards someone with chemistry and you cannot wait to tell them. You cannot wait to tell them this is fast-moving Libra. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is fast-moving conversations. Boom! I can't wait to tell you. It's over with, so I got chemistry with you. Please, engage me. I want a relationship with you. That's what I hear. Yeah, that's what I hear. So you have chemistry and you're ready to come out and bring this out and discuss this issue with about children. Um, how are you actually feeling the feeling, though? You're, we have your viewpoint, your status. How are you feeling? You're feeling good like it's about to happen. Someone, you feel like you deserve this. This could be a child in your life as well. A Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn you're dealing with. So you feel like uh, love is possibilities. Love is coming. You know that it is. You just have to go through this sh shift that you're dealing with. This is you, darlings. Okay? Promise, promise, promise. Changes, changes, changes. Trusting, loving, go actually moving from your heart. Because you see that pinnacle? This pinnacle is directly beneath the sun. And it just radiates. Um, a real solid relationship, love, healing, everything that you really need, right? Here we go. So, Libras, who is this you're dealing with? Who is this love interest for you? Let's see. Holy Spirit, guides, love team. Show me who Libras love interest is. 
Now remember, if I do draw past and they're hanging around and they're not making changes and they're not giving you anything, loving you, making your life productive and healthy, if they're harassing you, hanging out, eating up your psychic energy, I'm taking them off the board because that's how I feel about it. You need real love, true love, healing love. You have someone showing up with that offer. Here it is, same one. This is going to be someone um, that comes and makes you an offer. It could be money, a job. It could be a relationship. It could be a child. But this looks like a Taurus Virgo Capricorn maybe wanting to invest in you. Tell me what they Tell me more about them. Queen of Wands. They're passionate for you. When they meet you, you're gonna bust their bubble. You're gonna be they're gonna be like, now that's what love is supposed to feel like. Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sagittarius, intuitive, intelligent, productive, creative, sexy, hardworking, talented woman talented energy and this person like I said when I was gathering information on them and talking I feel like they're coming in to actually help you have, live your dream your will of fortune came out this is your destiny if you can process what you're going through now this person's going to come in and they're going to change your world transformation and change and they're going to bring that change and that good luck that you're looking for. What do you want? And Six of Swords is here. Both times. This is Six of Swords. Six of Swords is having a peaceful, moving away for a more peaceful situation. Wow. Wheel of Fortune. Wow. They're trying to decide. They're, get, they're weighing their options as to where they need to go. Who do I give this coin to? Tell me more about this Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. What are they juggling? What are they juggling with their Libras? What are they juggling? What is this person juggling with my Libra? What are they juggling, Spirit? What are they juggling? Two relationships? Money? What is it, Spirit? Trying to decide how to get to you. Yeah, this is a Cancer energy. Movement. Intuitive movement. How do I meet my destiny? How do I meet my Libra? How do I get to them? How do I give them this offer? This is what they're weighing in the balance. It isn't that they are going to get the offer. It's that they're trying to figure out how to get to you. Tell me more about this. Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot and this person's intentions. They, they want to come out of the cold. <clears throat> Someone's been feeling loss of love for a long, long, long time. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They've been going through healing. They were, they're being spiritually guided towards you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, I don't think this is someone you left out in the cold. I think they just feel out in the cold, okay? It's not you. Maybe they've had financial issues and they have to take on two jobs, two damn jobs, just to come and give you this one pentacle. They have to have enough to give you, and they're working on it. Flying. Yep. Brand new love. Brand new love. Look at this. This is a brand new passion, a new beginning for you. Aries Leo Sagittarius, she says, I want to give you that wand. You. You. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. And I'm going to change your world. I bring what I bring. I hope you like what I bring you. I'm, I'm working really hard to come out of the cold and have enough to support you in a relationship with you, Libra. And I really want to give you this relationship. I really want to give you this. Ace of Wands, a new start, and maybe some passion. You know, um, male or female, you know, Libras, it, it doesn't matter. This is not about gender. This is someone that wants to come in and give you some. Mm, mm, mm. Tell me more about their intentions now. Tell me this. Ooh. Ooh, oh, they're going to keep it a secret. They're not even telling you yet. They're not telling you yet, but they're being guided to you, High Priestess. Mm -hmm. This is someone sacred. This is someone who knows exactly when they need to do something. Um, High Priestess could be anybody. They're kind of holding back and not talking about it. You've got the high priestess 
this person's energy, major arcana energy, is this. The Wheel of Fortune, Destiny, moving forward intuitively, emotionally, seriously, and then bringing about passion, but also, there. here's what I see. I see someone in the background absolutely passionate about you, but they haven't come forward yet. But when they do, it's going to be passionate big time. It's going to be passionate big time. Yeah, they're trying to decide which way they need to, how they need to come to you. So they're in a decision stage. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Many of you are drawing, working with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Tell me what, what are the, what are the likely outcome of this person in June, with my beautiful Libras? What is the likely outcome for them to come forward to my Libras? What is the answer to this, please? You already know this is happening. If you don't know, it's because they're not speaking about it yet. They haven't told you. You have to trust your star player, Libras. Tell me about love and romance. Ooh, told you it was an earth sign. This is an earth sign, and they're, they're working on being grounded and stable. They're working on having something to offer you. This is a single person, though. Oh, we. Oh, we. Their intentions are to make money and stay single. What? Should clarify that. No. They know you. No. No. They're single now. They don't, they're not telling you. They're not telling you that they know when they meet you. It's like God opens up a, a glass of light in them and they realize that they have to, their destiny is changing. And they have to come forward. They need to come forward with this new information and new energy, a new relationship for you, Libra. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's sexual energy. That's power. That's a new start. <clears throat> I mean, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's what I have. That's what I have. So, let me see one more card on their intentions. What are their real true intentions with Libra? And how will they play out in June? Libra, trusting. Holy shit. Are you ready? I didn't make it up. I didn't make it up. Their true intentions, Libra. To come forward and give you this energy, this new wand that they have, this wand to come forward. Right? They're going to come forward with this wand. They want you to they want to marry you. They want to ground you with you. This person will. Indeed, whoever you are, Libra, you've got someone here that wants to really, they want to make love to you day and night, four times a day. Four times a day. I've missed you so much. This energy is going to heal your heart and your relationship, the way you feel about love in general. There's going to be so much balance and healing with this person. Their way, there is balance. They're weighing things out. They're missing you. If this is someone from the past, consider it. I rarely say consider taking someone back. Rarely, rarely, rarely. Why? Because it could cause you a lot of drama you've already um, experienced cleansing for. And they have to be really honest with you. They have to really like put in the effort. But this is brand new. So I need you to understand you have brand new love coming brand new energy okay who's guiding my libras expecting miracles the holy spirit the holy spirit the holy spirit the holy spirit all right that's what i see how beautiful you are stay prayerful stay beautiful stay healthy stay hopeful because take a peek at that there's your outcome that's absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay? Give me a moment. This is your person. So Holy Spirit's guiding you. I love that so, so much. Libras, Holy Spirit guiding you in this path. Wow! So you have a lot of... You have someone who's very, very sincere coming up into your space. Tell me this. Round and round. This could also be someone from the past, but... They're healing. They're not telling you. And if that's the case, I'm not pulling this past person off. 
what will be the outcome of this for my friends in June? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Beautiful. Show the world the real you. It's time. You've got your defenses up somewhere. You need to trust. Meditate and pray, beautiful, so the Holy Spirit can move in your behalf and bring about the resolution, the peace, the love, the marriage that you're so desperately, I say marriage, merging. Okay. Stop. So Libras. This is really what you're getting. Stop. My alarm is so cold off. Look what you're getting in June. Revelations. Honesty. Victory. Okay? You're getting revelations, honesty, and victory. You feel like you're going round and round, but it's really just creation changing things. You're getting a new love offer. This could be sexual energy as well. You're getting healing, hope. You're getting a love offer that is committed and grounded and could be a twin flame coming your way, coming out of the dark from, from having um, a hard time and weighing things out. They've been single, <clears throat> but they want to come and perform with you. They're not telling you right away, but they're on their way. Okay, They're deciding which way to go to come and find you. This is what I have for you for June. Please like, subscribe, and subscribe and hit the all bell. And share this video if you wish. I want to say thank you for being here. I hope you like the sound bowls. I'm expecting some feedback in the comments, guys, because that's how I'm going to be able to relate to you and what you're going through. If this relates to you, please um, know that it's confirmation. If it does not, know that it's confirmation for someone else. But June, hell yes. Libra. Hell yes. That's what I'm going to say. Hell yes. Your healing pays off. Happy Memorial Day. Have a good June. I love you. If you need me, I am doing private readings. I'm doing personal readings. But there's only one way to get it, and that's go off my website. Well, you can email me too. But I don't trust the environment. There's a lot of sneaky stuff. Robinsrealmreadings.net. Go there. I love you. Namaste.